Okay. Take a small detour from the flatbed. We'll wait for it to get wired up. We're gonna whip out this set of pipe racks. I already got a good start. I didn't film it because it's too much to try and film it while I'm laying out the bends and stuff like that. But you could see, uh, I'll climb up and get a better look. Here's the theory we got going on. It's all one piece. The whole back is bent, bent, and bent all out of one piece. And as, as is the front, same thing. This is a one piece bend, 90, and then all the way over to this side, another 90, and uh, tied in right there. So it takes a lot. It takes a lot to do it like this. But this is for a friend. This is my friend's truck. So I built him a rack a bunch of years ago, and he wanted another one. So this is what we're doing. And I'll take you, take you for a close look. I make this nice. I don't want to try and hold stuff and tack it because I'm TIG welding this. This is all anodized aluminum. So this is how we do it. Get everything square and straight and and solid and plumb and then we attack so today we're attacking there's a cross piece i got that made already so uh the mission now is to set up the tig machine and you can see these joints are all ready to go but we don't weld a full weld until we're done with the fabrication so um you can see i use a strap to pull this thing into place this side's got to come up a little bit, but I need that clamp that's right there. So we'll go tack this side and then move across, tack the other side. And then uh, today we'll have it all tacked out and ready to weld tomorrow. Pretty much where I want it. I'm just going to put a little tiny small tack right in the bottom corner. Um, right here. Because if it doesn't line up, the way I want once I get the the back pieces tacked in I want to be able to get to the tack easily and uh, be able to break it or, or pop it loose and then move it to where I want to make more sense later but for now this is a good starting point so well nanodized you got our little bump switch take the argon flow tungsten stick out and that should be good. We'll grab a ladder and go. Okay, we got her all tacked together. Now we're gonna take the cross member and chuck it up right here. This is the notcher. And uh, we'll notch it in three three ways because it's gonna land right here in between this intersection. It's gonna connect right here all the way across. So we'll notch it in three ways. Well, two directions, three notches. That's our next mission. through maybe we do want to go all the way through that is a four-way intersection so I can either go through on this one or the other one I think we'll uh, think we'll leave it like this and we'll go through on the long one keep the gapage down well here it is every time I put a piece on it starts to rain but the machines all covered up and the crossbar is in. I gotta put two more pieces in and then we're gonna call it a day. But I gotta hit the goal for the day because I'm on a tight schedule. So here we go, rain squall, number four. Okay, there she is. Too much rain. One side, all cut out, ready to fit. The other side. All cut out, ready to fit. 
Got the fixture removed. Got the crossbar tacked in. Got the top already to rock and roll, nice and square. Straight, everything's straight. And I uh, will finish up tomorrow. Too much rain. Too much rain for, for today. But that's what we're gonna plug in the sides tomorrow. They're all cut out. We just gotta fit to cut, cut to fit for the back there. They're gonna fit up inside that radius. And then once that, those sides are in, I may add a little nub in between right there, who knows. And then I'm gonna do a removable back bar. But uh, that's it, too much rain today. Worst case, I'll, I'll pull them off the truck and weld it under cover, weld them inside. But that's all, that's all for today. Too much rain. Thanks for watching. Okie doke.